necklace that we're going to make. This is made using two colors of bicone crystals. This is another version of the necklace made with one color of bicone crystals. And this is another version of the necklace made with two colors of bicone crystals. So let's talk about the materials that we're gonna need. For this necklace, you're gonna need four millimeter bicone crystals. You can use two colors or one color. I have 53 of each here to make about a 16 inch necklace. You're also gonna need super duos as well as 11 Toho seed beads and two six or eight seed beads to connect the clasp with jump rings. So let's get started. I'm using a size 10 needle with six pound fire line. And I'm gonna start by putting on a super duo, an 11 O, a six or eight seed bead and an 11 O. And I'll string that on. Then I'll go back through all of those four beads to form a loop. And here's where I can tie a knot. Then I want to go back through the super duo I'll add two 11 O's and go through the other hole of the super duo Next, I'm going to make a long drop, which um, requires Super Duo, six 11 O's, a crystal, and an 11 O. And I string that on. Then I want to go back through. I can hold the crystal in place as I go back through the crystal, the six seed beads, and both super duos. I've made my first long drop. I add two 11 O's and go through the tip of this super duo. Now I'm ready for the next drop, which is a short drop. We add a super duo, a crystal, and an 11 O. And I like to hold the crystal in place as I go back through the crystal and both super duos. Be careful not to go through the 11 O's along the top. Pull that tight. Add two 11 O's and go down through the tip of that super duo. Next, I'm going to make another long drop, but I'm going to connect it to the previous long drop. 
So I add we'll a add superduo, three eleven six o's to eleven cross o's over crystal, into, onto this previous. We always drop. start a drop, and I want to go down through the seed bead before so the crystal that on. and the crystal. And I'll kind of hold the crystal in place. I'll go through this. This time seed bead I'm going to go end. back up through the crystal and only four of the seed beads, and back up through. The crystal and, and the next seed height. Back through the three seed beads I crossed over with. And then up the last two seed beads plus the next two super duos. And you kind of want to go back this way a little bit. Trying to go straight up, it won't go through the holes. And don't go through any of the seed beads on the top, just the super duos. And that's what we're going to repeat for the entire length of the necklace. This necklace is made in one single row. We add two 11 O's and go down through the tip of that super duo. And now we're ready for our short drop. We add a super duo, a crystal, and an 11 O. We always start a drop with a super duo. We string that on. I hold the crystal in place as I go back up through the crystal and both super duos. Bring that tight. Add two 11 O's and go down through the tip. Now we're ready for another long drop that connects to the previous long drop. So we add a super duo, six 11 O's, a crystal, and an 11 O. It's always good to check both holes at the super duo as you're putting it on. Just good practice. In here, I want to hold the crystal as I go back up through the crystal and four of the seed beads. Then we add three 11 O's to cross over to the previous drop, which would be the seed bead before the crystal and the crystal. Then we go through the seed bead on the end, back up through the crystal and the next seed bead. Back up through the three C beads we crossed over with. And then back up through the last two C beads as well as the two super duos. And as you're making these, um, the last drop always kicks out a little bit, but that's okay. Um, 
it always gets pushed back into place when you finish uh, connecting to it. So um, keep going here, repeat this another couple of times. Add two 11 O's and go down through the tip to get ready for our short drop. Add a Super Duo Crystal and 11 -0. String that on. And then go back, hold the crystal as we go back up through the crystal and the two Super Duos. Add two 11 O's and go down through the tip of that super duo. And now we're ready for another long drop. We just alternate long, short, long, short, long, short. So we're ready for another long one. So we add super duo, six 11 O's, crystal and an 11 O. String that on and hold the crystal as we go back up through the crystal and four seed beads. And continue to hold the crystal when you're pulling it tight. Add three 11 O's cross over to the previous long drop, going down through the seed bead and the crystal. Through the seed bead on the end, Back up through the crystal and the next seed bead. Through the three seed beads you crossed over with. And up the last two seed beads along with the next two super duos. Add two 11 O's and go down through the tip. So you continue this pattern until you are about a quarter of an inch away from your desired length. So I'm going to continue this pattern all the way until my last short drop and then show you how to finish off the necklace. Okay, I've continued my necklace, but I have run out of thread. So I'm just going to show you how to continue the thread to finish the necklace. So I have another new thread I want to start that I have my needle threaded through at the other end. And I'm just going to tie a square knot Okay, and because this is fire line, what we can do is take those two ends and touch a lighter to the end to melt the end. So I've melted both ends and I can feel that there's a little ball on the end. And so now I can pull, pull the thread through and there's a little knot there to continue the thread. So I will continue to my desired length of necklace um, on my last short drop and then show you how to finish. 
Okay, I'm about a quarter inch from my desired length and I have just finished my last short drop. And so I'll show you how to finish off the end of the necklace. Um, we are gonna put on a super duo and five seed beads. And we're gonna go through the last long drop, the seed bead and the crystal. Go through the tip, seed bead, back up through the crystal and the seed bead. And back up the five seed beads we added. One, two, three, four. And then five. And up through the last two super duos. Then we add two seed beads and go down through the tip of this super duo. Then we'll add an 11 0, six or eight seed bead, and an 11 0. We'll string that on. I'm going to flip it upside down. And I want to go through the tip of that super duo and those three beads I added. And that should form a loop. It goes around the edge of that last super duo. Then I'm gonna go through the super duo one more time. my thread under between the super duo and the seed bead go through the loop once and twice And pull. Okay, so all we need to do is snip the ends and then add the clasp. Okay, I've, I have snipped both ends of the thread and now I'm ready to open my jump ring. Feed it through the large seed bead, add the clasp, and close it. So this side, I just need to add a jump ring. Take my jump ring, open it. Feed it through the large seed bead and close it. And now we have a working clasp. And this is the finished necklace.